So you're a brand new ham and you got yourself a Baofeng radio, but you don't quite know how to program it. We're gonna help you out. All right, so you bought yourself a Baofeng UV5R radio. Maybe you're a brand new ham. Maybe you've been around for a long time and uh, you're just not getting around to buying one of these cheap radios, but they work so well. That's, I think that's why they sell so many of these uh, radios. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna program this radio both by the keypad and we're also gonna do it by software coming up as well. Okay, before we actually program the radio, there's three menus that you need to remember. You can write them down if you want or just remember them in your head. It'll make it a lot easier every time you're trying to uh, configure this radio. One of them is uh, menu 13, 25, and 26. And let's dive into it. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. First thing we do is we choose the frequency that we want. Uh, I already have it. Let's go back to A. Uh, 444 500 that is a local uh, repeater here a UHF frequency and we're just going to go through this frequency right here and see if everything is okay now that we're there let's hit the menu, menu. and then hit it again CPCSS. all right it's 100 uh, Hertz that's exactly what it is so we're going to keep it there if not you could change this to like two hit two and it's changed it to 200 Hertz let's go back to one and then hit menu again confirmed. it's confirmed now we hit the next menu 25 menu that's your direction is it uh, offset is it plus is it minus is it off whatever it is ours happens to be plus but we could change that to off or change it to minus if we want to we know it's plus so we're going to keep it there hit menu again confirmed. it confirms it now let's go to menu 26 it's going to be our offset here. We know it's 0.500, but let's just say it wasn't, and we want to change that. You just go 000, zero, 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 five, zero, zero, and then hit menu. Confirm. Now you could do this for everything. This is basically just the basics to get you going so that you can program your radio to whatever frequency you want. All right, now that we have programmed our Baofeng UV5R with the keypad on the front, let's take it one step further. Let's use the Chirp software and get this thing programmed, I think, the easy way. Now, I don't know about your Baofeng. Did you get a cable like this? If not, I'll leave it in the description below on how you can get one of these. You're gonna need this. It also come with uh, some, some software. Uh, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use the Chirp software and I'm gonna show you how to download it. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Google and we're going to type in Chirp. And scroll down just a little bit. You're going to see Chirp software. Um, it's from the chirp.danplanet.com. You're going to want to use this one here. Click on that. Right on this page, uh, it says Get It next to the Linux, the Apple, and the Windows. Go ahead and click that. Once you do, uh, scroll down to Chirp Next. That's the latest and greatest. A lot of you may have used the legacy before, but many of you coming to this video, maybe you've never used any of it. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be easy for you then. You won't have to relearn anything, you just do it. Uh, download the uh, latest Chirp Next build here, and you scroll down and you're gonna see the Windows version highlighted because I'm on Windows, but you've got a Mac version and all of that. You can download whatever uh, system that you have. So let's go ahead and click that. It's downloading. We'll click that so that it installs it right away. Hit next. I agree. Yes. Let it install. Hit finish. And it's going to run the software. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. And uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do, it's on the welcome screen right here, is go to the radio and you're gonna want to download the information from the radio. We can't do that until we hook up this cable. Hooking up the cable is pretty easy. Open up this little side door on your radio, plug it in just like so. Take the other end, plug it into your computer. All right, once you got it in your computer, make sure that the radio is turned on and all the way up. Set it down beside there so that we can get working on it. 
All right, once your radio is all plugged up, make sure the radio is turned wide open, set it down. We'll come back to that here in just a minute. Now, go up to the top menus up here, and you're going to see radio. Click on that, and you're going to say download from radio. This is going to take all the information from the radio, download it to our computer into a spreadsheet so that we can see what's on it and see what we need to do to get new information back up to it. Once you get to the screen right here, it's going to be a port page. This is going to want you to select the port that the radio is on. And if you don't know what port it is, you might need to go to your device manager, find out exactly what port your radio is on so you can choose it. In my case here, it's the only thing that pops up, so I'm going to take it. I know that's the right one. Uh, the vendor, we got it. Well, look at all the radios that you could choose from, all of the things that the Chirp software does. Uh, obviously, we want to go to the Bailfang. We want to go to the UV5R, which is right here. Say OK. Click it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take all the information from the radio, download it to our computer so that we can start programming it. All right, there you have it. This is exactly what is on this radio right now. We did some of this when we were programming the front keys on there. Some of it I already had on there. But what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. We're going to act like this radio is brand new and that could be where your radio is. And we're just going to delete it all. We're going to start over. To do this, go to the first entry right there, which is zero, and go down to eight. Hold down your shift button at the same time highlight it all, right click in the blue area, and then say delete memories, nine memories, and shift all the way up, which is what we want to do. Just delete it all. Now we have a clean radio, nothing on it. So the first thing we want to do, we want to load some things. We can load the weather, we can load repeaters, and uh, we could load uh, uh, simplex frequencies. That's what we're going to do to do all three of those. Let's start with the uh, with a repeater radio. So let's go to file and we're going to say open stock config and this is all the configurations for just about everything you'd want. Of course we're not going to do anything but what's on our radio here. We're not going to do GMRS, we're not going to do anything like that. We want to do just what's for this radio. So go down here to the US calling frequencies. That's the first thing we want to click. Boom. There it is. It also brought us up a new tab up here. You got the Baofeng and then you got the US calling frequencies. Every time you load something, it's going to bring a new tab every time. We want to go to that tab and we want to either take all of it or some of it, whichever works for your unique situation. Now in this one right here, the Baofeng only does two meters and 70 centimeters. So we're going to hold down the control button, click it so we can just highlight those two and we're going to hit control C. That's going to copy these two. Then we're going to click on the Baofeng radio and we want to add it to our Baofeng radio. So check the first box, the zero, and then hit control V and there it is. Now both of those entries are on the Baofeng radio. Well, they're on the software right now. We'll transfer that to the Baofeng coming up in just a little bit. Let's click on the radio and then we want to go to the query source and hit repeater book. Once we do that, we're going to see another window that pops up here and we want to fill out the information accordingly. We're in the United States, amateur radio. You can actually choose uh, GMRS if you want, but we're on amateur right now. Uh, the state, we're in the great state of Texas. My longitude and latitude is here. I already have that pre-filled out. Now we want to go out 50 miles. Let's go 50 miles out. What this does is it takes the longitude and latitude that you have put in right here and it just goes 50 miles out. So if you got repeaters anywhere within that 50 mile radius, then it's going to grab every one of those. So we just want to go out 50 miles on this. 
on the filter, you could, uh, let's just say you want another county just north of here, something like that, that you want to get. In our case, it would be, say, Tyler County or something like that. Uh, don't want that right now, but if you want, you could add another filter to that. and It'll actually get not only the 50, but it'll get more in an, a certain area that you would want. Or another town, say, say there's another town just north of here that you want to get that. You could type that in and it would do it. But as far as what we want here, 50 miles out, and we want to limit our bands right here because this radio will only do two meters and 70 centimeters. So we click those two, say OK. And as far as our limit modes, we want to click this and just say FM, say OK. And once we hit OK, it should bring up all of the repeaters that we want for our area. And bam, there it is. These are all the repeaters in our specific area here in Southeast Texas. Now, I don't want all of these repeaters on my radio because I don't, I don't know half of them, don't know what they do. I just, there's a few of them that I use. So that's the ones that I really want to do. One of them is right here. Uh, this one here as well. Uh, there's a couple of them here, these two. Uh, hold down the uh, control button, click it, hold down the control again, click that one. I want those four for sure. So let's just use these. We want to say control C so that we can copy all four of these. Go back to the Baofeng tab. Remember it brought us another tab up here. Go back to the Baofeng, Baofeng, Baofeng. <laughs> Go back to the Baofeng tab and then um, click the next entry right here. Hit control V and there you go. Our four uh, repeaters here on our radio, rather on our software page right now. Now we're not through because I would like my radio to have uh, our local weather programmed into it. So in case if I have my radio, I can just turn it on real quick and the weather's there. I won't have to think about what frequency is it or anything like that. So let's go back over here to file and uh, we want to open the uh, stock config and go all the way down to NOAA weather alert. Click on that. It's going to bring you all of the NOAA weather frequencies uh, around the country, all of them. Now, I know mine here is 162.475. Yours obviously may be different, but you can do all of these. Just highlight every one of them and put them in your radio. But again, why? Because there's only one frequency, so why not just use that? Hit Control C to copy that one. Go back to the tab of the Baofeng. Remember, it brought us another tab up here, too. Go back to the Baofeng, click on the next uh, option here, which is seven, and then just hit control V. There you go, your weather is up there. Now, if I upload this to the radio, everything will work great, but it's gonna give me kind of an error because it knows that the weather frequency, you can't transmit on it, and it, it's gonna tell you that, hey, there's something wrong here. So the best thing to do, which I wanna do anyhow, is uh, to make it skip. And the reason for that is because if I'm doing, uh, let's just say I'm doing a, 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 just a, a scan of the frequencies, you know, to where it's just doing in a scanning mode. And I don't want it to do that. You know, I don't want it to scan through a weather channel because I'm not going to talk on it anyway. So I don't, and the weather's always on. So it's always going to hit the weather and stop. <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to keep going through the cycle. So what you do here is go under the skip column here and uh, just uh, click the S and that means skip. It will skip that frequency, so whenever it's scanning all of these, it'll just pass over that one. Now, we've got everything the way we want it to be. Now, wait a minute, let's go back to the naming properties here. Uh, this is important because a lot of times on your radio, you'll say, what's that? You know, what's this frequency here? I, I, or what's the, yeah, I don't, I don't know these, uh, this call sign here. I don't know nothing like that. I know what it is, but I don't know what this means. Let's just say this particular one right here. I know that's in Buna. So let's just double click that. Let's highlight that. Let's just call it Buna. Uh, we could call it, since there's two of them there, we can call it Buna 1. How about that and say enter. And then this one right here, let's, uh, let's highlight that one and let's call that Buna 2. Or rather, wait a minute, let's change this. Since this one right here is UHF, let's just say, see if it'll let us do a dash U. And uh, do, yeah, well, 
do this one here, we'll call this one dash uh, V for VHF and UHF. And we'll do the same thing for this one here. This one's in Orange County, so let's just call it ORG dash um, uh, U for UHF, and then we'll call this one ORGV, ORG-V. And that lets me know on my radio, okay, this is UHF, VHF, because it'll just display the name. It's not gonna display all the other information. So I know I'm on UHF. I know I'm on VHF on all of these. Now the simplex, that speaks for itself. The weather, uh, anytime it has a WX and a number, it's always a weather frequency or weather call sign or something like that. So we know that. But if we want to be fancy here, we could just call it weather and we're good. So there we go. We've named every one of them. We know where everything is going. Let's send it to the radio. We go to the radio and say upload to radio. Right here, here's our COM port. We know it's COM port three for us. Uh, the Baofeng UV5R, click OK, OK. And now it's gonna upload all of that information, all that data to the radio and we'll have an operating radio real soon. All right, now that the radio has been uh, programmed, we can check it out to see how things come out. Okay, your arrows, obviously your menu buttons here to go up and down. So we start here and there is the, the first entry that we had on our spreadsheet, the 70 uh, centimeter call frequency. Two. And that right there is the Orange County, the UHF, click it again. Three. There's the VHF, you can hardly tell the difference between the V and the U, but uh, I know what it is. Go down. Four. There you go, that's the Buna VHF. Five. And that is the UHF. Six. This right here is the Simplex. Seven. Flight chance of showers in the morning, <laughs> then flight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Well, there you have it. You have programmed your Baofeng UV5R, and uh, whether you do it on screen right here, whether you do it with the uh, software, either way, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you is the way I always look at everything. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you comment down below. We'd love to hear um, you know, your adventures with the Baofeng Radio.